Hello, my name is Ryan Tabor, and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today we're going to be looking at some of the new functionality in Cheryl version 10. There is a lot in here that can transform the way you use the service desk. One of these is the sentiment expression, which uses Microsoft's machine learning libraries to determine the sentiment of a text. The text is evaluated by the machine learning program and returns a positive or negative value based off of the contents of the text. So an obvious application of this could be aggregating scores for customer surveys. However, I wanted to show a slightly more advanced example that I came up with. I would like to be able to alert a technician if a customer leaves a bad review so that they can follow up. And I would also like to change the way Cheryl behaves with the customer based off of whether they've had a positive or negative experience. So to get started, I've created a one step. What this one step does is it collects feedback from the customer, evaluates its contents, and taking a look at this expression and its properties, we can see that it is using that new sentiment expression. For our purposes, it will display the positive or negative value. And then it will either display a pop-up message based off of whether they had a negative experience, followed by sending an email to the technician so that they may follow up, or a message if the customer had a positive experience. So let's go ahead and run this. So the machine learning library is a work in progress and is actively learning, but it is still fairly accurate. Shorter sentences with a higher proportion of positive or negative words will have a much more drastic score, while wordier responses are perceived to be more neutral. Punctuation, like exclamation marks, can also skew the results. So let's run a couple of examples for a negative customer response. You can see that that received a negative score of 7 and we see our customized response to the customer based off of a negative review. We hope to serve you better next time. A technician will be following up with you shortly. Let's try again with another negative response that is a little bit wordier and slightly more amusing. You can see that even though this was a perceived negative response, the text was so much wordier that it received a less negative score than the first one. And we can also see our customized message for a negative response. Let's try again with a positive review. We can see that that one received a positive score of 6.9. And our customized pop-up message for customers leaving a generally positive response. And once again, let's try with a slightly more wordy, more amusing positive response. We can see that even though the text was rated as positive, it was less so than the original shorter text. Or perhaps Cheryl has a sense for sarcasm or inauthenticity. And once again, we can see our customized message for a customer who's left a positive review. So those are a couple ways you can use the new sentiment text expression within Sharewell. Hopefully you found this useful, and we will see you next time.